Hello, and welcome to another episode of PCI's Tech TV. In today's episode, we're going to be demonstrating how to use PCI's Ortho Engine to assemble and pan sharpen a set of Worldview 2 tiles. Now, in this particular case, we're going to be working with Worldview 2 2A data product, which is also known as their Ortho Ready data product. So, what I have here on screen as of right now is a pan chromatic set of tiles as well as underneath I have the multispectral tiles. So if I uncheck them here, perhaps zoom in a little bit more, you can see that we have a set of seven separate tiles that when combined will make up a single image. Now the reason the world view or digital globe uh, creates tiles and distributes their data in tiles is because of the resolution of the imagery. To send this as one large file would be just simply too large or too big. So they break it up into smaller tiles. However, if we wish to perform pan sharpening, orthorectification, and ultimately mosaicing of these images, then we need to assemble them in tiles before we can continue or proceed with that process. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a new OrthoEngine project. So You'd simply open up Ortho Engine. Actually, we can start right from the beginning. So I'll open up my Geomatica toolbar. O click on the Ortho Engine button. Open up the Ortho Engine application. And then I'm going to click on File, New. At which point I can leave this blank for now. Set a quick name. It's just good practice. We'll view to PSH for pan sharpening. So then we're going to specify the math modeling method that we want to use. So we're working with satellite imagery, hence we're going to be working with optical satellite modeling. Um, we have a couple different reasonable options that we can choose from. We can do two-tans model as we support worldview sensor with two-tans model. Uh, two-tans model builds what basically it does. It builds a physical model using the orbital and ephemeris uh, segment. Uh, and then basically uh, allows you to model from that. But at the same time, uh, Worldview 2 data comes with very accurate uh, RPCs, or an RPC segment. So it's uh, actually quite useful and uh, may even provide better results with fewer GCPs uh, if we were to use a rational function model. So the rational function model is going to be built, uh, or is going to build a model based off the RPCs that the Worldview 2 sensor is, is distributed with. So we're going to click OK, and then we're going to next set up our uh, project. So basically what we have to set up is our output projection, which is, or sorry, we're going to set up our projection. So we want to first set up our output projection. So this is when we generate our output products, whether it's pan sharpened image or if it's a orthorectified uh, output or a mosaic, this is the projection that's going to be applied to it. So I want to use the same projection as our input imagery. So to figure that out, I'm going to go to our panchromatic, one of our panchromatic images. I'm going to right click, go to properties, pro projection, click on the projection tab, and I'm going to use the same projection here. So it's UTM, zone 10, row U, and it's using the D122, which I believe, you can just verify, I believe it's WGS84. No, sorry, it's North American Data 1983, my mistake. So this is what we're going to be using. So I can just simply copy that and paste it into here. I can alternatively go and select them from a series of drop-down and uh, dialog boxes. So now the output pixel spacing. So because we're going to be working with pan sharpened imagery, we want to use the output pixel resolution, or we want to set our output pixel resolution to the same resolution as our input pan chromatic image, because we're going to be creating a pan sharpened image which will have the resolution of our pan chromatic image. So once again, if we go back to our focus um, application, right click on one of the panchromatic images, go to properties, projection again, and we want this resolution. So we're going to be setting our output resolution for the output product or the output ortho and mosaic to be 0 0.5 meters. So I'll close that. There we go. Now, in this demonstration, we're just going to be showing you how to assemble the tiles and then perform pan sharpening, at which point, all within Ortho Engine, and then at which point you can proceed to orthorectification. Uh, so it's not necessary that we set up our GCP projection as we're not going to actually perform any. 
However, if you were to, what you'd want to do is you would want to go to your reference scene. And go to the control source, open up this in focus. Once again, right click on the file, go to properties, projection, and then this is the projection that we would want to set uh, for that, for GCP collection, which happens, I believe, to be the same projection as the input imagery. So now that we have this panel set up, simply click OK, and we can begin inputting our images. So the first thing we need to do, because Worldview 2, as I mentioned, it's distributed in tiles, we need, it's inputted in a slightly different manner. We need to first assemble the tiles, but we can't just simply merge the images together. The images are provided with their own um, RPC um, information, so we need to also assemble the RPC segment. So basically when we're assembling uh, the tiles, we're also merging together the RPC segment and creating a global RPC segment for the entire image. So what we're going to do is we're going to go mer uh, sorry, assemble tiles. Now there's two options we could choose from. We could choose stitch image tiles with RPC or assemble tiles. So the stitching of the images is necessary for world view data that is not 2A. So for example, world view 1B data. Uh, but because we're working with WorldView 2A data or the OrthoReady product, we want to use the Assemble Tiles option. So hopefully that is clear. So at this point we're going to be working with, uh, well we have a few different parameters here. So the first thing we want to do is we want to figure out the number of rows and number of columns that are necessary to assemble our final product. So there's a very simple way to do that with WorldView. Simply click on Browse, go to the folder that we want to work from, or input images from. Go to, for example, this one. So we can see that there's seven tiles in total, but how do we know how many rows and columns are there? Well, we can open up and look at the image name. An image, and in the image name, they have this section where it's R1, C1, so that's row one, column one. So if you go all the way down to the last one, we can see that there's seven rows and one column. So we would set it as such. There we go. So now also we, it needs, the system needs a sample tile. So you go back into that dialog box and you would click on for example TIFF image right here. Just any one of them, doesn't matter which one. Click open and then that parameter is set up. And then finally we want to click an output file name, so we want to specify the, the name of the file in the directory where uh, this merged or this assemble image is going to go to. So we're going to go into the assembled folder there and we will call it MS Worldview 2. Click Save and then we can click Assemble. It'll take a few moments to assemble the multispectral image. It's also quite nice that it creates overviews for it as well. So now we get the option to add the image to our project. So in this case we're going to want to click yes. So the next thing we can do is we want to do the same thing for our panchromatic image. So I know that the number of rows and columns should be the same. But we can verify that, so we can go to Browse here. We're going to go up to the same, the associated or the same file, so we can see that we did the pan or the multispectral. Here's the file ID. So now we're going to use the panchromatic for the same file ID or scene ID. So we can see here, if we expand this, that once again it has seven rows and one column. So that is set up correctly. The next thing we want to do is we want to set up the sample tile. So once again, we can choose any tile in the uh, list. Click Open. And then finally, we want to set our output uh, file name. So we're just going to set it to the same 
directory. And the same uh, gen general file name, we're just going to change ms with pan. Finally, once we have this set up, we click assemble. It'll take a few moments and we will get our assembled panchromatic imaging. Now the panchromatic one will take slightly longer than the MS because it is a higher resolution, a larger file in general. So as with the multispectral image, it too will create the overviews for the image. Alright, <clears throat> so now that that's completed, we can once again add this panchromatic image to the project. So we will click yes. So now we can close this panel. So the next thing we want to do is we want to perform a pan sharpening. So we want to basically fuse or sharpen our multispectral image so that we get the essential, the multispectral characteristics, but the panchromatic resolution. So to do that, all within ortho engine we can go once again to utilities and we go to the option merge slash pan sharpen multispectral image so this panel pops up so it's set up for both merging and pan sharpening so in this case we're just going to be performing pan sharpening so we just need to specify a single multispectral image so we're going to go to browse we're going to go to our assembled area and we're going to choose multispectral worldview2.pix. And then for our panchromatic image, we'll do the same thing. We're going to go to browse. We're going to go to panchromatic worldview2. And we're going to open up that. And then the last thing we need to do is we need to out figure out the output name and where we're going to store it. So we'll put it in here and we'll call it PSH worldview2. save that. So now we, as you can see, we have enough um, information set up for the pan sharpening to occur. So the nice thing about performing pan sharpening directly within Ortho Engine is we have the option to add the image directly to the project uh, when it's completed and then we can go on to the ortho rectification of the pan sharpened image but we also have the option to, uh, at the same time it's also going to pass along the math model that's created based on from the RPC segment. So it's a couple nice um, aspects about pan sharpening your imagery directly in Ortho Engine. So we click on the pan sharp button here, and the first thing it's going to do is create the output file and then perform the pan sharpening. Uh, this process takes a few moments, so we're just going to skip this. I've already pre computed the pan sharpen image, so I'll stop this process. And I'm going to open up this project, which basically shows the final result. So as we can see here, if we go to our data input, you can see that we have the Worldview 2 multispectral image, the pan sharpened image, and the Worldview 2 panchromatic image. So let's take a quick look at the results of our pan sharpening. So we can go into here, go into assembled, and we can open up our multispectral image. Our pan chromatic image and our pan sharpened image. So if we zoom in on an area here, for example, zoom in at one to one, change, for example, the color bands of these two images because they are flipped, reapply our enhancement, 
and we can see our true color image, our true color composite here. So if I were to take away this image, we can look at the panchromatic image, and then we can compare that with our multispectral image. So that's the first thing we want to do. So we'll go to an area, such as this one right here, apply enhancements across the board. And then we can take a look at the coloring of our multispectral. Look at the nice resolution. So if we zoom into one-to-one -one of our panchromatic and we switch back to our multispectral, we can see that we have a much higher resolution image with our panchromatic. And then finally, if we switch to our pan sharpened image, we can see once again that we have a very nice high resolution multispectral image or pan sharpened image in this case. So that is a very simple uh, method of using our uh, graphical uh, user interface, Ortho Engine, for performing uh, tiling or assembling the tiles as well as pan sharpening of WorldView 2 data. Thank you for, uh, for, for listening to this Tech TV.